Chicken time yeah. with Phil. Hey, I'm Phil, and this is not really an episode, but we're filming it. This is one of those, you know, the show's been going for a while, right? We've already done everything I know how to make, and really it's just been a, an exercise in me trying to follow Betty Crocker recipes that I found on the internet. But this particular <laughs> endeavor that we're filming right now is, it's like a supplemental type thing where I was like, you know, I really like roasting chicken, and I want to see what would happen if I put a bed of leeks under it. And so this recipe has two ingredients. It's a chicken and some leeks, and I'm going to cook that. So here we are. Here is, uh, here's the leek. It's the biggest leek I've ever had in my whole life. Look at that. That, uh, that would ruin, that would ruin anybody, this leek. So here I am over at the cutting board. I got a, a fresh knife. I'm going to chop off that end. There it is. I'm going to chop up here some, wow. some bitch. And really, I'm only going to use this part. The other parts are probably too broad to actually be good. Uh, and I'm going to chop it in half, such as I'm doing now. And I'm going to cut it into strips, or as they are known colloquially as leek bits. Looks great. So here I have a, uh, a cake pan and a roasting rack. I thought this was the roasting pan, but it is not. It is a cake pan. But I'm just gonna use it because that's what I can find at the moment. I'm gonna hit it with some sunflower oil. Just a tiny bit. This is not stick, but I think a little bit of oil will at least get us over the hump until that chicken starts shooting out so much fat that these vegetables have no choice but to become delicious. And that's the logic, is that basically we're gonna render down these leeks in chicken fat. Chicken fat is also known to the Jewish people as uh, as uh, schmaltz. <laughs> that's what it's called, schmaltz. I just can't believe that's a real word. So I'll put our rack down. There it is. Bed of leeks under the rack. Here's the chicken. Taking it over to the sink. <laughs> this show's not for children. <laughs> so I just squeeze that chicken butt juice out of there. It's typically chicken broth that's been inserted by the processor to increase the overall weight of the chicken so he can sell it to you for a higher price. I didn't know that. Who's the processor? I am not the processor of this. I'm unprocessing it, honestly. Well, there went the chicken guts. Just squeeze the ass. All right. <laughs> Truly, how did this episode come to be? I don't know. Is it a recipe when it's only two ingredients and you're just saying, Dumb some shit, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna pat our chicken dry a little bit. Not too much. And you know, the chicken will cook better if you tie up the legs. I don't know if I got string for that. Why? And if I do, it's not for, it's, it's, a, it's like an aerodynamics thing. So if you take if you take the legs, you take the legs and you're tying them up like this, it creates a more uniform piece of meat for it to roast. That's essentially how that works. Okay, so uh, it's nighttime in my backyard and I can't find any twine, but I knew I had some garden twine. Uh, so I'm gonna find the best twine I can, which I think I've got some like coconut shell twine in here. That's just string. It could work in a pinch. Let's rotate around these dead tomatoes. Anyway, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Look at this. You know, this is this is the ultimate recycling, guys, right here. It's been outside for months. We're gonna put it in our food. Good for you. Okay. I was just kidding about two ingredients. We're gonna use a couple more than that. I'm gonna take a lemon and shove it into this bird's ass. Maybe maybe we'll throw some herbs in there first. Are you an herb? It's all look terrible. Never mind. Come. What the f are we gonna do? Right. Cooking in action. Here's some unpeeled garlic cloves. Let's shove them up in there. And then we're gonna take that that uh, lemon lemon butt into the butt. And you wanna you wanna. Turn it around so that the uh, the outside piece of the lemon is sticking out of the ass so that it functions like a lemon plug, okay? A lemon plug so that the plug will exude lemon juice into the bird ass, okay? And then, then we're gonna tie it with that uh, outdoor twine that we had. Cross the legs. It's a lady, right? Crossing our legs, having a wonderful time. Are we though? This what if we don't want to keep an aspirin between our legs, Phil? What if this is a modern society in which we have birth control? An aspirin? Are you yeah. Why are you talking about aspirin? It's a thing. So uh, I'm I'm struggling. But that's okay. Okay, we've tied it up. Okay. Okay, so we're patting the chicken and then we're tucking our wings. The wing tuck is a is a critical piece. You're tucking it behind the breast, such as I'm doing now. It makes it look funny, but it, it makes for a better cook. Helps prevent the wing tips from burning. Okay? Look at that. It looks nice. It looks real nice. We're gonna give it a liberal salting. I'm peppering it. You know, it would have been better to put, apply oil first, but yeah, here we are. I'm just gonna give it a drizzle, just to get it started. Olive oil! Uh, oven's not preheated. That's all right. We're putting it at 375 because the bread's cooking at that temperature. And that's a fine temperature to roast the chicken. It'll be fine. Hello. 
and we'll put it in there for like, you know, until it's done. So this is uh, yet another worthless video. I'm sorry we're filming it. I'm sorry you wasted your time <laughs> watching it. Uh, here's I'm not crazy. sorry, and I don't think it's worthless. I think it's f***ing great. Well, we'll be back. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming back. <laughs> He's coming back, <laughs> don't I'm worry. Go, I'm not going anywhere. Goodbye. Okay, so the chicken's done. You can tell by the brown. This chicken's done, but we gotta let it rest, so we're not gonna chop it up yet. I, I am a little bit concerned for the leeks, because they look like they burned. Looks like there might not have been enough chicken fat in there for, to carry us through the day. But you know, we'll try it. We'll put it in our mouth. Looks burnt. I mean, it's just okay. But I think the general will be good. So let's, uh, let's give that a minute, and then the episode will be done. And I can retire to the Spanish pastoral countryside, where I will subside on a a diet of clams, chorizo, and uh, what the f and ha hamon. Juan Hamon. the chicken we roasted it's looking it's looking mighty fine so the the leeks look like they got a little a little overdone but is that gonna stop us from eating them no no hell no hell no here's a piece of breast oh no say boobs instead of breast ow i can't it hurts go to eat these chicken boobies wow Courtney! It's delicious. That's really good. This chicken's great. Ooh. My wife, Courtney. she lives oh, here. Courtney. Does she want the chicken boobies? You turned on the <laughs> dishwasher, you asshole. <laughs> what do you f***ing push the f***ing start? The chicky tastes great. The leeks look burnt. A little top f the leeks. The chicken's good. Okay, guys. There wasn't an episode, but here we are. That's how you do it. Pour it in the soup. Tear it up. It's gonna hurt you. It's hot. Say bye.